some stuff. So it's quite ironic that I am doing these little transmissions because I'm not one of these women who is always doing women's work, but I definitely have a womb and I know quite a bit about it by now. And um, I hope I can explain some of these things in lay people's terms to actually, what I am is more of an energy medicine teacher. I, I teach about our energy centers I work in many dimensions and that is often something that people are like, well, we're all changing and I think you're probably aware of that and this year's been a really big year. So I'm going to share in these little bite-sized chunks teachings that are around the womb but actually help you to understand why you're a multi-dimensional person. Now please bear with me, it's going to be good for you to eat one little bite then have another one and I do encourage you to watch as many as possible in these days because somewhere this higher story is going to get woven and I'm my concern at the moment is how to make sure that you can get the meaning without me weaving it too many times or too little times so first things first I'm going to talk a little bit about chakras now chakras are conceptual wheels of energy that we have around our body and we have different energetics as you know you have different organs in your body but we also have energy fields around us and a lot of what we um see and don't see is is where we're kind of in a in a transition now because look at look the whole planet is 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 totally changing right now over something it can't see right and maybe this is a good time for us to start talking about some of the things we can't see. And you can't see chakras. And, but, but you can start to understand that there's certain impulses and certain ways of being that are governed by different parts of your body. So when we're talking about chakras, we, have, we start at the root and we go up to the crown. And there are seven major chakras. And this comes from ancient Indian and Vedic systems but a lot of people now in what we might say the new age uh, uh, utilize these concepts and if you look at other um, knowledge systems they often have energy wheels and, and a lot of the systems are very aligned especially in the sections and what they do so we all know things like if you say you you know you you're you've got a heartache over someone it, that's something to do with your, your love and your heart. We also know that our wombs and places like that are are linked further to the lower part of our body. So there are some things that you already know about chakras, and this is where we're going to start to explain these things. Because when we're talking about the womb space, that's often linked to the root, but more importantly to the sacral, the second chakra, which is just a little bit below your belly button. And there's also another chakra that is tied up with that one, which is the solar plexus, which is a bit above your belly button. And in some, in some cosmologies, things are right on the navel. Just know that, that there's what, what is called a very important thing is the the, the lower triangle. So when we're in the conventional uh, seven major chakra system, this lower triangle is linked to the root, the sacral and the solar plexus. And the little bit that I want to share with you today is that this is the area that really is where most of our crap is, um, is accumulated. And when we have imbalances in those areas, our lives are not very balanced and we usually have things like a lot of addictions, our egos go crazy, we want to buy silly stuff, we're really afraid of death and things like that. And we sometimes have problems relating with people, sometimes we have a lot of conflict in our lives, a lot of drama, things like that. So um, I'm sure you all spot some things that are in imbalanced not balance in your life and that's something to do with your lower centers now another thing that we have a big problem with in the planet right now is a thing called sexual leakage or energy leakage and this can happen whatever body store you've got and this is why sometimes people feel like strangely attracted to people or go into really weird one night stands that they maybe shouldn't have things like that 
and why sometimes people feel mm, like you know they look the guys like somebody he's really old but somehow there's something like we're pulling them in there can be sexual energy leaking so i'd love for you to start to have a little bit of a map um of looking at where your lower centers may be, you've got issues. Now, what can happen is when we've got these um, energetic imbalances, one of the areas, and especially for women at this time, one of the areas that will take this on physically, because when we're energetically out of balance with something, it will affect the physical, is the, the womb center, the sacral affects the womb center. So, so many women will have menstrual issues. I'm going to be also talking about hereditary stuff in another transmission. I finally want to say one thing that's linked to the male-female discussion on this. And I read one time that um, when, you know, men have imbalanced, out of balance, um, lower centres, you know, they kind of want to have sex with everything that moves. And for women, they go into fantasy realm when they're leaking and they're not in balance, okay? So um, I, I see, I used to do it all the time and, um, and, and some of that's linked to my astrology. But you, you know when people start looking and thinking they're gonna marry someone when they've met them and we've got all this Tinder stuff and things like this at the moment where people start kind of going into you know, marrying people in their heads. This is fantasy realm, and this shows that we're not grounded in that area when we start having these sort of fantastic um, preemptive romances with people that we don't really know, and over drooling over people and deciding things when we haven't even met the person, stuff like that. So that's a biggie for women to look at because we delude ourselves, okay? So it's really, really important to start to look at your self-delusion. And if you've had any of that in the recent years, then you've probably got an imbalance in those lower centers. That's this transmission over. Goodness, there's so much to share. I hope you get that. And please write comments about these because we're going to be talking in the chat boxes as well. Over and out.